Hi guys, my name is Tanmoy and welcome to another session of study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to use reports from our Google Ads account. When we start managing Google Ads account guys, uh, we handle a lot of data which we get to see in the account. It becomes very important for us to analyze this data. Unless and until you analyze your data, you will not understand what's happening in the account. That is where reporting comes into picture with the help of which you can download the data in various formats and then you can go ahead and analyze this. So let's have a look at how to use this particular feature. So in order to access reports, you can click on the report section on the top just beside search. And now under this, Google will give you some predefined reports which you can simply use. You can pick the type of reports. There are campaign performance report, ad group performance report, ad performance report. So based on your requirement, you can pick the type of report you want and you can use it and download it as per your convenience. So let's have a look at it as we'll look at one of the reports right now. So you can go to the basic report. So these are all the options which we get to use over here. So the first one which we can do is a campaign performance report. So now as you can see over here, we get to see the whole data out here for our account. You can first of all choose a time frame for which you want to see the data. So you can select it from the time period provided out here. And now you can see these are the metrics which you'll get to see. For each of them, if you want to filter this data, that is also possible out here. So you have an option given on, on every top of it where is from which you can filter it out. So let's say I want to look at specific campaigns so I can filter the data by campaigns. And I can select the campaigns which I want for which I want to see the data. So like this, the data can get automatically filtered out. Another option which you get over here is you can also go ahead and if you want to see specific metrics, so you can change these columns as well as per your requirement. Okay. In order to do so, on the top right, you have this slider and now you can see all the metrics which we have added out here. Now, let's say for example, I don't want to see view through conversion, so I can simply go here and delete it. And now in place of that, I want to have all conversions as one of the metrics. So I can select it from here. I also have the option to drag them and put it in the place where I want it to show it up in the report. So now like this, you can change columns and you can add metrics, remove metrics, which you don't want to see in the report. The other thing which you can do is you can, let's say, and this is the way you can get the data in this format. You can download this in a CSV file, PNG file, CSV file and Excel formats and then you can analyze it. The other way of using this data is we can convert this into a graphical representation and use it for our presentations purposes as well. So for that again, you can go to the slider and change this data into different bar graphs, column graphs as well. So let's have a look at that. Let's say I want to create a bar graph. So I can select the campaigns and the metrics which I want to see and convert the same data in a bar graph format in this manner. Similarly, you can do it for, you can do other type as well, grouped bar chart or you can do stacked as well. Let's say I'm doing stacked. In stacked, along with impressions, I also want to look at clicks maybe. So I can add clicks as well. So they will start appearing in the report in this manner. Right. Next, uh, you also have, you can have a column chart rather. You can convert this whole thing into a column chart in this particular manner. And then again, change the metrics which you want to see. You can remove them, add new metrics, whichever you feel like. Similarly, you can also do a stacked column chart if required. Or if you want just a simple group chart, you can group them as well and have that data. Next in the line, we have also have time series, which you can use if you want to see two dimensional data. And then we also have a pie chart, which we can make use of. This is only for showing impressions. You can see for other data as well. If you hover on it, you will get to see for which campaigns are we showing the data for. Next, the last one which we have is a scatter chart for the same 
you can select scatter chart and you can see the data in this specific manner you also have another option for a different scatter chart a bubble chart basically which you can also have So like this, you can make use of all the different types of charts which you require. Now, once you have created this particular chart, what you can do is you can save this report. Okay, so let's say I'm going to save this right now. And this is a campaign's impressions data. So I'm going to say impressions. And I'm going to save this. So this gets saved in my particular report section. So I will be able to access it from the report section in the saved reports part. So now if you go back to your reports, so you have a report section as well where you will be find this particular report over there. Okay. You also have the option of scheduling this uh, report with your client. You can email them, schedule them. That also is option is out here. You can give the email address. You can choose the frequency whether it can be one time, daily, weekly, monthly, whichever you want, and then you can schedule it. Okay, so now we look at how it looks like under reports. So when you go to reports, you will find all the saved reports out here, as you can see over here. You have an option over here now to go ahead and see if you don't want to see the old reports, you can go to the click and you can hide all the old reports that you can do. If you feel that you don't want to go ahead with any of the Google templates, you want to build your own report from scratch, you can click on custom and build the report from the beginning. So you can create a table report, line chart, column, all different types of reports you can create from the scratch. So now this will be completely empty. You pick your rows, columns and you can build your own report out as per your convenience. The other aspect of it is you again have these predefined reports created out here. If you see, these are all the different types of reports which you can build. These are the predefined reports, so which you can again make use of. Let's say I want to see campaign details. So this is the data for campaign details, which we can make use of. Other than this, let's say a great feature which Google has recently launched is dashboards. Dashboards, it becomes like a one stop place wherein you can collect all the reports in one place and share it with your CEO or the higher management. From this one single dashboard, they will be able to see all the information regarding the account. So let me show you how we can make use of this dashboard. So now what you can do is you can click on this plus button and we can start building out the dashboard. So this is like we will add different cards to it one by one. So it will get added over here. So let's say I want to start off right, right now. You can add a note defining. You can give some information about what this dashboard is all about in the notes section. Let's say for now I'm going to start off with adding a table chart first. So I can make use of table. And I can pick the campaign specifically which table chart I want. Let's say I want to do it for campaign July 9th. So now this campaign is, is going to come out here in this particular manner. I can save this. And I can name this as well, the dashboard as for today's date. So now it will start looking up like this, you can see the whole data out here for the chart which we are creating, the report which we have. Again, along with this, I want to also add the pie chart which I created right now. So I'm going to add another card and this time I'm going to go for chart and I'm going to search for that particular one. Let's say this is the one impressions. So I can give a name to this. And then we can add it over here. So it's going to look like this specifically. Next, I want to further go ahead 
and now along with this I want to add a scorecard so I'm going to go underneath and here I'm going to use a scorecard scorecards are basically uh, you can add different metrics related to your account giving specific data it will not be a chart format but specific data specific metrics which you want to talk about like for example you just want to talk about how the account is doing in general so you can talk about metrics like impressions click CTR cost average CPC same way you can create another scorecard which is only conversions based so you can have metrics around conversions over there so that also you can add out here so let's look at one scorecard uh, you can choose the first the time period so I'm saying all time for now and I want to create this scorecard which is basically for the overall account so from that perspective I want to look at the total impressions I also want to look at the number of clicks the CTR data as well okay let's say I want to look at the total cost spent so far and the average CPC so these are the metrics I want to have in the first scorecard right now next I also have an option to filter what kind of data I want to show okay if suppose this dashboard this scorecard is specifically for certain campaigns I can filter in that manner okay so for example uh, I can filter by campaigns name and I will say that only those campaigns which has a campaign name has February in it I want to look for only that data so I can do that as well so this will be like a sparkline chart okay uh, a line chart specifically which you will get to see you can give a name to this so since this is an overall account so I'm saying account performance data and now you can see in this particular manner you will be able to create the scorecard in the same manner you also have an option let's say as I said you can build another scorecard which is only conversions based so just under that we can again go ahead and build another scorecard but this time all my metrics will be around conversions so I can start with that I will say conversions I want to look at all conversions I want to look at cost per conversion conversion value by cost I can look at conversion value conversion right so these can conversion rate as well so these are the metrics I want to see with respect to conversions so it will this will give me an idea about the overall conversions status in this account again I can go for sparkline chart and I'm going to say conversions data for the title for this particular scorecard so now I will be able to see data for that and I can save this So like this I can create different scorecards for different scenarios of the account and this becomes my complete dashboard so now this dashboard can be shared with the CEO with the senior management and the data will automatically update at the back end as well so you can share the data over here okay which is going to be you can email it you can leave a note as well and schedule it to be shared on a daily basis or first day of the month or weekly you can do that so in this simple manner guys we will be able to use the reports also you get to use is you have an option wherein you can download a report which is for a video viewability which is basically it, this report will tell you what has been the viewability status of your account so you can choose the date range as well for which date range you want to see this data and you can download once you download it will come in an excel sheet format and you can have an access to that as well so now here as you can see this is how the data will look like so in this simple manner 
you will be able to use reports guys it's a very essential part of the campaign management work which we do so on a timely basis as an scm ppc expert you need to go ahead and make use of this on a regular basis i hope you were able to understand this and if you have any questions guys feel free to write into my, the comment section i would be happy to help you with that thank you so much guys for today